Well, hello, beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing really well. Um, welcome to my channel. If you're new, it's CJ here. Welcome back, of course, if you're part of our beautiful family, Sag. It's been a while since I've connected with you. Well, for me, it feels like it's been a while. Things have just been a little bit crazy here on my personal life, and so I needed to take a few days just to kind of not only gather my wits, but um, just kind of handle a few practical things. I've missed you so much. Um, I wanted to do an April reading for you, but as I said, a few things came up, and you know that's life. So, Sag, it is April 4th today, 2024. It's actually like 4 4 4 day, right? Um, April 4th. April is the fourth month, the fourth day, 2024. So, it's a pretty powerful day, I feel. Um, a day where you can really ground yourself and connect with um, the earth, you know, um, Mother Gaia. Um, and really kind of set your intentions because we're going to have, we're going to want to spiel here, Sag. Um, you know, we've got that solar eclipse happening on the 8th of April, which is going to be a pretty big thing. And right now we're in Mercury retrograde. I mean, tell me this is going to be, this month is feeling, well, fourth day in and I'm telling you, it's already kind of kicking my butt in some level. So if that's happening with you too, um, no, you're not alone. We're here together and we're going to get through it. So much going on this month. All right, Sagi, thank you so much for all of your beautiful comments and your support. Uh, I've read all your comments. I just haven't had a second to get back to you, but please know I read every single one of them and they all, I cherish all of your messages. Um, if you would like a private reading and, or if you've reached out already, give me a few days. My schedule's kind of gotten a little out of whack over the last few days, um, but thank you for your grace and um, thank you for your patience. I will be reaching out to you. If you want a private reading, all that information is down below. And I think that's about it, Sag. We're going to just get into your reading. When I was meditating on your energy, um, I did get an, uh, an image of bubbles. Um, and the bubbles were dropping down. Um, so when I asked my guides, okay, wait, wait, what is that? Because for a moment, I was like, what does that mean? Like you're, you're sinking into the water. You know, if you hold your breath and you go down in the water, sometimes you can release your bubbles and the um, bubbles will float up. So the bubbles were going kind of down. Well, it was champagne. That's how they clarified it to me. It was like champagne. So um, I guess, you know, I haven't had champagne eh, for a long time. Kind of gives me a headache. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, I feel like this month might be tough. It might be, <laughs> it might be calling on your energy to stay strong, stay focused. But that's, that, that Im the image of the um, champagne, I feel like that's a reference of something to celebrate at the end of April. Um, because, you know, champagne is usually, that's what you're doing. You're toasting your cheers when there's something positive, something good to celebrate, right? So, although, Sag, I think for all of us collectively, regardless of what sign you are, I think it's kind of going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride, right? We, that's going to be the new moon in Aries. Aries is that zodiac, the cardinal sign. So, you know, all about kind of I am, taking power, taking charge, directing your life where you want to. Quite fiery though, right? So let's all buckle up our seatbelts and get into your reading and see what is potentially happening for you. Remember, it's timeless, so this might be something that's happened already. It could be something that even happens um, more into May, right? Well, you know, because that's how it kind of works. Um, and also, it's a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one, so please remember, it may not resonate with you, okay? All right, beautiful, beautiful Sag, let's get started. All right, Spirit, thank you so much for guiding me in this reading for my gorgeous Sagittarius. What is a message? We're going to open up with my um, secret language of color. Very called to open up with this. If you're new here, this is a beautiful deck. It is all about colors. I'm also an artist, so um, you know colors are very important to me. And I love colors, especially vibrant ones. Um, this is a deck that you can use. Um, you can stop it if you resonate with the color and take a picture of it. You can meditate it with, meditate on it with the color. You could wear that color. You could have a candle. You could have a flower. However it is, if it connects with you, of course, right? It, you don't have to do it. But that's what we're going to open up with. So let's see what spirit has for you. All right, we're going to look at the bottom. Ooh, beautiful. Here we've got lavender. Connect to body, mind, and soul. This is 44. So <laughs> today is 444. Okay, that's a sign. Also, when you add that up, fours for me are about stability, about your solid foundation, creating a beautiful solid foundation. But when you add that up also, it's in number eight. So eights, you know, are about your life path, the journey that you're on. Lavender. Does any of you have lavender in your garden or in a pot or anything? I have lavender in my little garden here. Um, hopefully it's coming back after the winter. I love lavender. It is such a relaxing, uh, meditative smell. It can be used for healing, having a bath. Um, putting the little petals in there. So there's an energy coming through here about spirit saying, just connecting you. You know, I'm getting this going with the flow, go with the flow energy. Okay, so we'll see. 
There it is. Beautiful. It's followed by Ruby. Ooh, lovely. This is regenerating your body. It's not, it's number eight, Sag. So, okay, fours and eights right now popping up. Rejuvenate your body. Some of you might have not been feeling great. Maybe you've had a cold. I'm still a little stuffy. My dog also, you know, um, she, she's got a little longer hair, so she sheds quite often. <clears throat> I do have a little bit of allergies, so that kicks off. So I'm feeling a little bit like that. You might be. Take some time, get some rest, get, um, you know, have a nice bath, maybe with some lavender to help relax you and clear out the sinuses. But they're saying here, rejuvenate your body. So that doesn't mean that your body on some level here, maybe feeling pretty worn out, might be feeling exhausted, you know. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave it there. So if you have a ruby, a ruby ring, something of that color, very powerful for you. Then we have the aqua color, and beautiful. This is experiencing peace and calm. So Sag, you're gonna experience peace and calm. Again, I feel like that's connecting a little bit more to the end of April. I don't know why they're giving that to me, but they are. It's number 33. Beautiful. So threes, Sag, as you know, if you've been part of our family for a while, you know, threes are about your body, mind, and soul. Exactly what the lavender is for me, right? Three is a powerful, powerful number, and it is about connecting. Think of a triangle, right? Um, add it up. That's a six. Sixes are about a beautiful balance coming into your life. So I do feel spirit is saying that is coming towards you regardless of where you might be right now. Um, we have persistent next, which is silver. Not really drawing me to that. Okay, so no, nope, that's where we're going to leave it. Let's see what spirit has. But if you're new here, the bottom of the deck is quite, quite substantial because my guides often, often communicate with me from the bottom of the deck. So if you're wondering why, I'm checking that. Okay, spirit, thank you so much. Let's get into this reading for beautiful Sagittarius. What is the color that Sag can work with for the month of April 2024? What would be beneficial? Oh, okay, way too many, way too many, way too many. Let's put these back. They're very big cards. I love them, but they're big cards. A little bit more difficult to shuffle. Well, we have white on the bottom. Lighten up. So sad. Again, this is like a feather to me. It always reminds me of a feather. Things might be really stressful, right? Um, things might be going on where it's feeling a little bit more tight, a little bit more rigid. I don't know. I'm just getting that feeling. It's 24 again, so the six. Um, they're saying, it's okay, you can lighten up, take a breath, relax, go with that flow. All right, let's keep going. Remember though, if you see a feather, that's gonna be a very auspicious sign for you, all right? Okay, spirit, show me what this message is. What is the color that's gonna be beneficial for Sagittarius? For those that this is our reading for the month of April, April 2024. Okay, the deck is feeling strange too. Okay, is there a card? A color, please. Okay, okay, we got two. All right, we have Amber, Awaken Your Creativity. Oh, Sag, just feels so much like your energy. Um, and then we have Magenta, wow. Connect to your deepest inner knowing. And then we have Rose, Attract a Relationship. Oh, that's interesting. Um, the reason why I'm saying that's interesting because when I was doing my um, shuffling, shuffling and prepping the decks off camera, right? Just so I don't waste your time. I was using my uh, Wisdom Oracle, and the Soulmate card kept showing up. Soulmate, Soulmate, Soulmate. Um, so, hey, this reading is a general, so this could apply to any area of your life, right? Could be romance, could be finances, could be health, obviously, any areas. So I'm just finding this interesting with the rose. But let's start with Amber. Awaken your creativity, Sag. It's number 15, so there's that beautiful six. Some of you might have felt really burnt out. You know, you might have felt like you've lost your mojo, is what they're giving me. You might have felt, be feeling like, yeah, okay, I just heard like, what's the point? I just heard that. What's the point? Um, and man, if you're feeling that way, I can completely understand how that feels. Sometimes life can get really, really difficult and can feel quite contrast, like a lot of contrast around. And it can kind of like put the pressure on where things just start to feel more heavier. Um, when we're in that situation, it's really important to remember that it's not going to stay like that forever. This card is all about awakening you, your creativity, your passion, whatever that might be. This could be saying, connect with some hobby that you had in the past that you have maybe not done for a long time. Um, this could also be talking about creating, um, connecting with your passion. Um, you know, are you at the right career? If you're retired, are you doing the things that you love to do? You know, this is about lighting the fire again. There may be a flame still, and I would hope that there's still a flame going on within you, but this is about almost like fanning the flame, if that makes sense to you. Okay, so I'll hold it here for you. Beautiful color, beautiful card. And as I said, it's followed by the magenta card, number five. So this is all about change. Connecting to your deeper inner knowing. 
you know, we all are very intuitive. Sagittarius, you are you are very intuitive. You're the fire sign, but you, all the Sagittarius I know, very, very intuitive. This is about connecting to what your, your, your intuition is telling you, but even take it a step further. It's about connecting to, you know, your knowing, like what you know. Does, I don't know that spirit help me phrase that a little bit different here. Um, because this is about not allowing the pressure, not allowing the things that haven't worked out, not allowing, and God knows, I know how hard that can be, um, but almost like allowing yourself to push that aside and connecting to your inner self. You know, if you are into the law of attraction, I mean, I believe in the law of attraction. I witness this every day. Some people can be really, really good about it and it's just amazing how they call in exactly what they want. That takes a strong mind, right? Because we do live in a world where there's a lot of um, distractions. Um, and then we have our own issues that we're going to deal with. So, you know, we can always be kind of getting pulled back into, you know, the, the, the pale that is not beneficial to us instead of putting the energy into the pail that has all the good things in it. That's what Spirit's talking about here is getting back in touch with your faith, with your hope, your desires, your dreams, your imagination, and calling that back in and kind of refocusing, right? That's what I'm receiving here, Sag. So beautiful, beautiful flower here on this. Then we have on the bottom of the deck was the rose, attracting a relationship. Now this is number six. So we've got two sixes here. Fours, eights, and sixes. Interesting. Attracting a relationship. Okay. Well, Rose. That's funny because I just said the other day. Hmm. That's interesting for me. I just said the other day. I was like, hmm. You know, I, I love to garden and everything, but by no means am I very good at it. I'll be the first one to admit it. Um, I was just saying, huh, I wonder how hard it is to grow a rose bush. Um, does it do well in what area? Does it like a lot of sun? I have no idea, right? But for some reason, I got this image the other day on my mind's eye. And I was just speaking to myself like, hey, I wonder if I should get a little rose bush. I wonder how difficult that would be. Now I know it's probably going to be prickly and all that stuff. But just the, the smell, right? The smell of the rose. So interesting that that's being connected. So maybe some of you are planting roses or maybe you've planted roses. That would be a direct sign to you um, that there's a message coming into this reading for you. This is talking about attracting a relationship. Now, what kind of relationship? Obviously, we think roses are very romantic. So you're thinking more on the romantic level of relationships. Um, but it doesn't have to just be about romance. It could be about finding your best friend. You know, it could be finding, you know, that right person that feels like um, you've known them forever. We'll see when we get into the tarot, but let me show this to you. It's beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, okay, so let's move on. I want to get you a spirit animal card and then we'll move into the tarot. All right, spirit, beautiful message so far. I feel, okay, okay. They're just got me like, go here, go here. So I'm like, okay, the plum. Okay, look at these colors. They're all kind of very similar. Yes, different, but there's like this purpley pink reddish kind of glow going through here other than the amber. Sag, this is overcome your challenges and it's 41. So there's a five. So you got a six, five, a six, and this is a five. And they wanted me to talk about this. Overcoming your challenges. You're going to be overcoming your challenges this month. Again, perseverance, staying persistent, Connecting with what you truly know within you, not listening to your mind so much, not listening to others, really kind of getting into that driver's seat and saying, okay, what do I want in my life and how can I make it come faster towards me? How can I remove any roadblocks? And that is really just setting your intention and putting that focus in every day, right? They are saying you're overcoming your challenges. This card reminds me of the hermit. Um, so perhaps this is also a month where you're going to be very self-reflective. You're going to be going inward to really find the answers as well as your strength um, on your own. Okay. So they wanted me to talk about that. So I did. Okay. We're going to put that back over here. All right. We can move on now. All right, Sag. Bottom of the deck, we have the scarab beetle. What is that? Scar, scarab? Scarab beetle spirit. I don't know what that beetle is number 52 it's a seven seven is going to be about your luck your fortune your blessings coming in obviously it can be about count um taking into consideration the things that are going around but the message here is magic works through you sad so a month really about you um let's see what's underneath the wolf spirit beautiful now that is number uh 67 so that's a 13 which is a four that's stability again turn knowledge into wisdom so this is spirit's way of saying Remember the times that you've been in situations where you might feel like it's kind of similar right now? 
take that wisdom and turn and turn it into your magic because that's what they're saying there's magic that's going to work through you um here you go and then we have the moth spirit surrender now beautiful message here it's number 39 excuse me got a little hiccup there um <coughs> 39 is um what does that add up to 12 yes 12 so it's a three surrender now what i'm picking up from this moth energy here sag is about trusting again um surrendering to that 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 wave um give me a second just just try and see how they're telling me how to say it um trying to figure out what this is that they're giving to me mm, i can't i can't quite grasp it spirit the message is though with the moth spirit is about not fight okay, thank, okay that's a current oh okay not fighting the current all right thank you when you're in a river and a current is taking you, you know, the more you struggle against it, the more exhausted you're going to get, the more challenging it becomes. But if you can just kind of bubble along with the current, you know, eventually you're going to be able to move out of that current and get to land, right? That's how they're giving it to me. So again, they're just saying, just go with the current. You can handle everything and anything that's coming towards you. If you've been feeling like you haven't been able to, this is your reminder that you can, beautiful Sag. You can surrender. Things are going to change for you. So just hold on. I mean, we even have the scroll spirit next, which is believe in yourself. Wow, beautiful. So again, reminder, I don't know what's going on in your life individually, um, obviously, but there's a big shift, a change that's coming in here. And you, they're, they're saying freedom is going to be yours because a horse is next. And that is part you, right? So let's put this back and let's see what card wants to come out. But it feels like a theme. Again, they're giving me right now in my mind's eye that picture of the bubbles and the champagne. Okay, so there's going to be something you're going to be celebrating. There's going to be something that you are going to be at the end of the month being able to take a breath going, wow, oh, I, can't, I, I can't believe I'm over here. I'm on the other side now. Okay, all right, Spirit, show me what this is about. Please show me this, what it is about for those Sagittarius's that this is their reading for the month of April 2024. What is the animal spirit that is working with Sagittarius this month? Okay, um, too many, too many. But Sag, I do want to point this out because we do have the chameleon spirit right here, which is act as if. So, you know, um, it's pretty strong. I'm going to put it back. But, the, you know, this is all about, and it's number 14, so it's a five again, Sag. Even if things are not turning right now, even if things are feeling like, oh, you know, there's, you're kind of stuck in the mud, act as if you're not. As you act, as you, how can I put this? Act as if it's not. Act as if you are free. As you are able to pull your feet out of that mud, you're able to keep on moving. The more we put our energy into that lighter, higher vibrational energy, the more we attract that. Um, it's a really interesting thing, isn't it, how it works on this planet? But it is true. Have you ever been in a funk and you allow yourself to stay in that kind of funk? It doesn't really get better, right? It tends to get a little bit worse. But when you are maybe in a funk, but you turn your energy into just being full of gratitude and taking appreciation, even the little things that, um, you know, the, um, okay, I just seen like a what, chocolate, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a chocolate strawberry or chocolate cherry. Is there such things as chocolate cherries? Cherries with chocolate around them? I think that's what I've seen, okay. Okay. Um, point is here is the more you focus on what is better the quicker you're going to get out of that energy and the quicker you start attracting the positive stuff right okay spirit what is the message let's get one card sad this might be a long one but it is april right and it's a big one it's a big month solar eclipses mercury retrograde and a ton of other things that are going on astrologically um, can we get one card, please, Spirit? That was way too many cards. We'd be here for uh, months and months and months. I would have taken all those. Can we get one card, please? Okay, thank you. And we have another one that flipped out. Oop. Okay. Wow. Yep. We have the skunk spirit that has come out. It's number 54. It is nine. Nines for me are about you're about to conclude something, Sad. You're not quite there yet, but you're almost done. This is all about knowing your worth. Okay? So there's that message of believing in yourself and knowing you and knowing what you are capable of and trusting that 
Yeah, because we've got the stag, stag spirit next, which is take the lead. Number 58. Now, what is that? That is 13. So again, it is a four. You know, there's numbers from zero to nine, right? There's a repetitive here. There's lots of fives coming up. There's lots of fours coming up. Earlier, there was an eight. Um, so there's something going on here. Spirit is taking the lead. Taking the lead to really figure out what you are wanting. Again, this is like you have power. You have, you have your own free will. How are you using your energy? Where are you putting your energy? What are the words you're speaking to yourself, to others? It's really important this month, I think, to get very clear on that and to actually cement that. We have the owl next on the bottom, which is you see clearly now, beautiful. Um, owls are all about your wisdom, everything you've gone through, everything that you've learned that has taken you to this place where you are right now. You will see clearly now. It might be a little bit foggy right now, I'm getting. But hold on, because it's going to get better. We even have sweet results await next, which is the bee spirit. Okay? So something sweet is coming towards you. All right. Let's get into the tarot and see what the message is. All right. I'm going to move that over here. All right, Saggy. It looks really beautiful. Again, I, I am feeling it might be a little bit bumpy. Maybe even these first four days have been feeling a little bit, eh, you know, but it's okay. You're going to make it through. All right, Spirit, let's begin. Let's open up with the Spirit Animal. Let's stay with that. Thank you so much for guiding me in this reading for beautiful Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. <clears throat> so Pentacles are our Earth energy, right? Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, this is that, well, I mean, they all have different traits. But again, it's a Pentacle. So it's about our money. It's about our resources. It's about the things we can taste, touch, feel. Eight of Pentacles is about continuing to work, right? Um, continue to work on something. Um, putting the energy in. Again, positive energy, but it's a spider on this deck. And spiders for me are all about good luck. You know, so don't kill a spider if you don't have to, right? Let's see what's underneath it. Seven of Wands. Your energy, Leos and Aries, this is about protecting yourself, keeping your flame. Okay, thank you, Spirit, for bringing it back to the amber. Look at this card. So there's six wands, seven one. the seventh is lit, right? It's got a flame. It's got a flicker going on. This is going right back to what they were saying, my fingers at you here, um, about you protecting that. You know, not to keep repeating, but there's this energy coming through of don't get defeated. Do, yeah, you can have your down day and you can cry. You know, sometimes crying is a really beautiful release and that is not a weakness, it is a strength. Um, do what you need to do, but keep that flame going within you, Sag. It just feels so important to me. Um, Ten of Swords. Okay. Ten of Swords next. So because you're coming to an end of a cycle this month, I really feel this, that the the struggles, the pain, the hurt, the rejection, um, whatever this may be individually for you, it is coming to an ending. This is the end. And after that, we have the beautiful Ace of Wands. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. This is the brand new start, that seed. And if that's not in your passions, your creativity. So Sag, this can be about a relationship, you know, letting go of one relationship and now healing and working through that and allowing yourself, if you're interested, to open your beautiful heart up again. Um, but seeing it from a different point of view now, right? Knowing your worth, setting your boundaries, um, you know, seeing clearly of what it is you want. Again, this could be career. This could be, oh my goodness, it could be a multitude of things for you. But this is a beautiful, beautiful, this is one of my favorite aces because it's really that feeling of starting brand new. This is also my yes card. So if you're asking a question, if you've been wondering about something, this card showing up would say yes. The answer is yes. Sag is full by the fool. Beautiful energy here. So again, there is this new cycle beginning for you and you're about to start a new journey. Um, feels very positive. Okay. Let's see what Spirit has for you. What is going on for Saggy? For those that this is a reading Spirit for April 2024. I almost said 2022. So that's weird. Maybe it's been a rough road since 2022. Um, okay. Show me clearly, please. Okay, you got one, two cups with the High Priestess Pisces card. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Two of cups is a beautiful uh, energy of coming back together. Now that could mean you coming back to you, you coming back to your home, to you, to the authentic you. It's also going to be talking about coming back to 
um, a relationship or this could be allowing yourself to have some kind of relationship. Again, I'll leave it very fluid on what kind of relationship that would be. But the high priestess on the bottom is Spirit's way of saying, again, just trust your intuition. It's never going to lead you wrong here. I just want to see what's underneath there. Yeah, because we've got the two of wands next, which tells me that there's been some contemplation. Not quite sure which, what, which way to go. Hmm. Two twos, though. The nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is a beautiful energy of abundance, independence, being able to stand on your own two feet, um, and really take wonderful care of yourself. Again, the feathers are around there, so I'm wondering if that's connected with that white card that was lighting up. Okay, let's continue. Show me more, please, Spirit. For Sagittarius. It does say attract a relationship with that rose, and it is two roses on here. So for some of you, if you're open and wanting and ready, um, this may be the month where you meet someone that is going to be really special to you and you to them. Show me clarity, please, Spirit. What's going on for Sagittarius? For those that this is their reading. Now the deck's quiet. Okay. The world with the Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay. So the world. You have the fool just a moment ago on the bottom. So you have the world. This is the last major icon in the tarot. So there is a cycle closing up. So because you have the Eight of Cups on the bottom again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you may be, you might have, you might be leaving a relationship. Because um, I have to read it both. I have to read it all the ways, and they're, they're kind of making it quite broad in this reading here. Of um, maybe a one relationship is closing, um, and you're leaving that behind, and this healing is coming in, and it is about you taking this new path. Very interesting. I'm going to pull some clarifiers, but the Eight of Cups on the bottom is. You know, this is that emotions, it's watery, so it is our relationships, it's our, how we feel in our heart. Um, this is like walking away from something, leaving something in the past. Again, this could be um, literally leaving the struggles behind. Let's continue. I want to see what's underneath. Yeah, we have the lovers next, Gemini's card. The lovers used to be the choice card, but these are two geese, and geese mate for life. Okay, one more look. The Knight of Wands, your energy. Beautiful. This is about breaking free and being able to, um, to really have the awareness that you want to go after what you want, right? Not following man-made rules anymore, not following restrictions. Um, again, they're giving me the word authentic. So being able to be your beautiful, authentic self again. Okay, all right, let's continue, Spirit. What else is going on for Sagittarius for April? Sagittarius is overcoming complications and over, overcoming challenges this month. Okay, that one wanted to fly out, but it didn't. What else? Oh, okay. That's so many. That's so many. But we have the Mother of Wands on the bottom, which is your energy, Sag. Just the feminine side, right? We all have feminine and masculine. Love this because she always reminds me of magic, being able to really create magic. Very um, powerful energy of creation of course this is fire so it is about all that wonderful exciting creative spontaneity kind of energy coming in um okay but i'm gonna put this back because there's too many we do have the seven of wands how many cards do we have here spirit yeah we got too too many i'm gonna put them back we have the seven of pentacles that came out too it's so strange i'm not getting a read off this we have the Eight of Pentacles, now we have the Seven of Pentacles. Again, the Seven, Seven of Pentacles is about taking stock of the harvest, what you have been putting your energy into. Are you happy with the return? I'm going to set this aside. They're not guiding me to put it here. That's really strange. Okay, we'll put it over here. Show me more, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius for the month of April. I want to get some clarifiers, too. Okay, whoa, wow. Beautiful. We have... The Four of Wands with the High Priestess. On the bottom we have the Five of Cups. It's a horse as well. Nine of, Pen Nine of Wands, the Hangman. Okay, so the Four of Wands, Sag, this is a beautiful energy of celebration. You know, it is, okay, I've made it. I can celebrate. I can crack that champagne bottle. Maybe some of you are drinking champagne right now. I don't know. Um, 
can be a marriage card too. And then the high priestess is next looking this way. With the five of cups on the bottom, right? So this is definitely saying that you have had sadness, disappointment with the eight, nine of wands. This is struggle, right? This is a wounded warrior. So you've gone through something. Maybe there's been arguing. Maybe there's been disconnect, okay? They're giving me disconnect as well. Um, you ever had that feeling when you feel disconnected from yourself? Um, this is about coming back to you. Hangman's next major arcana as well. This is about seeing things from a different perspective. Okay. Yep, okay. I'm going to move this aside. We're going to just start getting some clarifiers. Let's see what else is going on here. Take the lead. You are seen clearly now. You know, know your worth. What else can you tell me for Sagittarius? Why is it two of cups here? Can you give me a little bit more detail on that, please, Spirit? Thank you for guiding me in this reading for Sagittarius for April. I don't know why the decks are feeling so strange lately. What's going on? Oh, geez. The Queen of Swords. Ooh. The Queen of Swords. Now I'm asking about the two of cups. So, Sag, <clears throat> Queen of Swords, our energy, right? Our air energy. The sword is a sword of truth. You know, and the air is talking about communication, words, um, you know, all the things that go on with our brain, right? Our mental capacity here. Queen of Swords, <clears throat> clarifying the Two of Cups. <clears throat> this feels like there is some kind of truth coming to the front or speaking your truth, perhaps with a significant other. Um, but it's necessary. That's what it's feeling like. It's necessary to get clear. Um, and if it isn't about, you know, a significant other, this is about getting very clear in your mind, right? The Queen of Swords, she doesn't rely so much on her emotions because she's air. So she is very intelligent, very, very aware. Um, but she's all about that truth and whatever that takes, right? To get the truth. And it's interesting because we do have the sun on the bottom, Leo's card. Another major arcana here. So this is a beautiful energy, you know, the sun is the representation of love and light, freedom, joy, happiness, right? Um, even like abundance, because in this deck, it's represented by the sunflower, right? And really, sunflowers can kind of continue to keep growing. They've got their own cycle that they go through. So it's interesting, though, because it feels like something's getting illuminated. The sun's illuminating something. Ooh, the devil underneath. The devil is illuminating something that has been unhealthy, something that could have been very restrictive. Again, Sag, this might just be between, be between you and you. might not be about anyone else. But again, you're going to get through this. You're going to see the light. They're telling you you're going to see clearly. And with this world closing a chapter and starting anew, you're moving to celebrate something, something that feels quite, quite, quite big. Okay, let's continue. Um... Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? And why did you want me to put it aside, Spirit? What is that about? No longer contemplating, but it's not in reverse. What is this about? She said, you're already at like 33 minutes, I think. Hope you stick around. Ooh, okay. Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Four of Cups and Judgment. Yeah, I feel like you're letting your... You're, there's a release happening too. We have the Eight of Wands on the bottom. You can see the Four of Wands is sticking out here. It's almost like you've decided to, you've literally decided to let something go to release something so that you can have a new start. Again, mindset, a person, a situation. You know, Four of Cups is, I'm bored, I'm stagnant, I'm, I'm waiting, 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 but does not see that there's a fourth cup up here. You know, it's a kind of dissatisfactory energy. But with the Judgment card, another major arcana here, this is the energy of rising up out of the ashes and being that phoenix, being able to fly free again. Um, again, even if that's just mental, right? Energetically. Um, that's what I'm feeling here. Okay? So something changing. The Eight of Wands on the bottom is a fast forward movement. Could be messages. Ooh, could be messages. We've got the Three of Swords next. There's been a lot of heartbreak in whatever this is. Again, um, there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of pain. But Sag, I feel like this month you are um, 
Give me a second because they just gave me the word. I'm trying to see it again. Okay, give me that word, please, again, Spirit. Sagittarius is... Oh, darn, it's gone. It was like innovative, but it wasn't It wasn't the word. It's like... Um, I feel like you're going to be seeing things extremely clearly this month that's going to really change the direction and how you are living your life. Um, again, but for the better. I hope this is making sense. Let's continue. Because that Three of Swords is there, right? So it is saying, the Empress of Three of Swords, the Eight of, of Wands. It's almost like you're releasing the pain. This month you're deciding or you're becoming very aware of releasing the past hurts, the past disappointments. Um, and with that is bringing you to a, a much more sweeter time, a much more gentler time. I'm saying I think this month is going to be a little bit, you know, might be a little bit challenging. But you're going to get through this. Okay, Show, what is, why is the world here? What's closing out? Can you give me some insight on that, please, Spirit? Or Sagittarius? Hmm. I'm going to ground. I'm just going to reground this deck. Seven of Pentacles again. Because what I'm feeling here is like I'm really weighing out where you've been putting your energy, what's been taking your time, what has been taking um, your focus away from what you genuinely are um, desiring. That's what it's feeling like. And there's like, so there's this contemplative energy in the first couple of weeks. Some of you might be just totally deciding to walk away from some kind of union, right? Contemplating it. Hmm. I need more, please, Spirit. Why is the world here? What is closing out for Sagittarius? Mm. Okay. Your beautiful Sagittarius. What is the world closing out? What is that cycle that's closing out? Mm. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Also, I, I don't pull cards. Um, not I have not been guided to as of yet. So I like to just let Spirit decide which card is coming out. Uh, okay, those won't go in, and they won't go in, that's my sign to take it. Okay, so why is the world here? Seven of Cups, confusion. Confusion, five of, five of Wands on the bottom, arguing, drama, fighting, uh, again with yourself, with others. So the world, the cycle is closing out of no more confusion, no more like being all up in your head. You know, again, the owl saying you're cl seeing clearly now. This is the energy of not really seeing so clearly. I'm not sure of what you want. Not sure what direction you want to go in. Followed by the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. So completely two different energy here. Three of Pentacles is coming together and um, creating something. Starting something that you and usually another person. Could be you though because you know, you're know you exactly what that Lavender card was. Body, mind, and soul. Coming together and working together now to take you somewhere sweeter. As I said, the Six of Swords is moving away from the hard times. Okay, let's continue. That makes sense to me. I'm going to just make some room here. All right, and then finally, Sag, what is Sag Spirit? Sag Spirit? What's this celebration? What's coming in that's going to be so beautiful? Yeah, Sag, i got to say, I feel like within yourself, there's been times, there's been moments where you intuitively knew um, that something was going to shift and bring bring you what you've been desiring, what you've been wanting. There might have been a little bit of hesitation, though. That happens to all of us. Because that High Priestess is definitely looking over at that Four of Swords. S saying, I, I knew it was coming. But maybe at the moment, you, you just kind of lost, not completely, but maybe the flame within you just kind of got a little bit smaller. Okay, Spirit, thank you so much for guiding me in this reading. Four of Wands, the High Priestess. Can you show me what that is about for Sagittarius? Ooh, okay. Death, wow, Sag, holy shit. And then we have the Tower on the bottom. With the King of Pentacles next, love that. And the Chariot. Some of you might be dealing with... Um, oh my God, these cards are incredible. Got to make some room. Okay, we've got the strength card too. Thank you, thank you. And we've got the King of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, Sag, we've got the death card, the tower on the bottom. So the death card is uh, Scorpio's card. This is transform. This is transformation. 
this month you're going through a very transformative, transformative month where you truly are letting the things that don't serve you, the people, the energy, the attitude, whatever you don't need, whatever is dragging you down, you are seriously letting that go this month and you are having a rebirth. This is big. This is a big, big thing. Um, with the tower on the bottom, you know, the major arcana is here. It's either something's coming in or has come in that has broken down the foundation. But the reason it's broken down the foundation is to start building a solid one that's going to be reliable, you know, one that you can trust. For some of you, something might come in here that um, forces you to forces you to um, make these decisions. It's followed by the King of Pentacles and we do have the Queen of Pentacles. So there is a pair here. Um, you know, again, this is a lot of stability, a lot of security, a lot of money, a lot of, um, what's another word that we can say here, Spirit? My back's just a little sore today, um, Sag. But this is a couple as well, right? King and Queen. So this could be talking about two people coming back together, seeing things more clearly, cleaning the slate and deciding that this they want to make it work in a better way, in a different way. But again, this is very stable, beautiful, abundant energy. It's followed by the chariot. As I said, this is Cancer's card. You know, um, moving forward successfully, having a lot of success, and followed by the strength card, which is Leo's card. Interesting, because, you know, Cancer is July, Leo is um, August. They follow the months, right? Um, this is interesting. It's because it's taken a lot of power, a lot of strength, a lot of dedication even here. Um, to bring this in because there's definitely was a time where you're feeling like this five of pentacles and not enough right not enough love not enough finances not enough groundedness just um struggles struggle sag so it looks to me as you move through this month you are going to start to get more stable however that might be for you and by the end of the month you're seriously going to have something to celebrate and something to be proud of yourself for as well. I mean, there's lots of things for you to be proud of because you're a beautiful soul, <clears throat> but there's, so there's something. I wonder what this is. I want to know what this is, but they're not giving it to me. But again, Sag, okay, thank you, Spirit. Be Spirit. Sweet results awaits. Ah, perhaps that's why they wanted me to put the Seven of Pentacles over there, because it's seven, and it's seven on this. Okay, so positive things are coming towards you. And if you think about B, Sag, they have to work together, you know? So if this is about, it, I mean, hell, it could be about anything in your life. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't, right? Whatever. Um, <clears throat> but this is really like coming together. Three of, of um, Pentacles is really about coming together for the same purpose. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting read here. I don't know if we're finished yet. I'm not quite feeling like they're, they're done yet. Is there something else you want me to go, Spirit? I feel like, yes. Okay, so let's just, what else, what else would you like Sagittarius to know? What else would you like Sagittarius to know? That one won't go in. The Tower, again. So... Oof, the tower. Nine of swords on the bottom. Sag, I truly feel this is something that's coming towards you. Um, it could be a message. could be some information. Um, could be your own insight, your intuition. I don't know. But it's almost like it's going to take away your anxiety, your stress, your sleepless nights. That's what it's feeling like. The high priestess once again underneath. And the five of, or seven of wands again. Spirit, is there anything you have else that you have for Sagittarius that you would like to let them know about for this month? Anything else for Sagittarius? What is this tower? I mean, tower doesn't always mean like, you know, it has kind of such a negative connotation. People go here, tower, and they go, oh my God, I'm freaking. But it, that's not always it, right? The tower can be some beautiful, beautiful thing that comes in um, that shakes things up for sure. But it's for a higher purpose. It's for your higher higher good right okay spirit is there anything else oh, i felt like there was something else you had but i'm not sure anything else for sagittarius oh okay whoa that's quite a few beautiful well we have the sun what do we have here the ten of swords with the star so beautiful energy 
Sag, it might be a little bit rough for a bit, but you're going to get there. You're going to get to the other side. Ten of Swords, again, this is the ending of the struggles, of the problems, of the issues. The star is Aquarius's energy. This is healing, renewal, rebirth, you know, um, very beautiful energy, restorative energy coming back in. The Eight of Wands once again, so something changing fast. Well, the month is only 30 days, right? And we're already on the forest, so ah, this fast forward change. Let me just put that over here, and then we have that sun, beautiful sun on the bottom. This is what you're, where you're headed to, Sag, through this month. So when you're having any kind of dips in your life, in this month especially, please remember this, replay it, whatever. Please remember you are headed to something that is going to be so sweet. You're having sweet results. It may not feel like that right at this moment, but you're going to get there. You're going to get there with the sun. Beautiful. Ace of Swords, everything is clear now. All right, wow, that's interesting. Interesting reading. Sag, I hope that this really helped or makes sense to you or is confirmation to you. Um, okay, let's close this reading off. We're going to go to Treasures from Takashi. Just looking it over, Sag. Man, I love you so much and I, I know you've gone through so much. Um, man, this month of April, you know, it's a big one. It's a really big one. Also with that, so I will be doing a reading for the solar eclipse because I really want to see how that might be affecting um, Sagis. But, you know, it's a perfect time to set your intentions. You know, now, now, I mean, we're four days away from the eclipse, right? So, and that's also like the new moon. So, like, this is going to be um, a beautiful time to release what needs to be released and to, to write down or however you do it um, so that it is right there, powerful way of calling it towards you what you're wanting. Oh, Sag, guess what we have on the bottom? Change. I'm going to read it. Nothing stays the same. Everything is meant to change. Do not feel insecure with change. Rather, embrace the diversity and dance in the face of what may seem like an upheaval. Wow. Transitions may create shifts of awareness or alterations of physical situations. So some of you might even be moving. With that Eight of Wands, that's true. Forgot about that today. Eight of Wands can talk about moving, you know, like, okay, I'm moving on, moving, moving on, quite literally. Um, so it says, um, I'll reread that. Transitions may create shifts of awareness or alterations of physical situations. Life is a constant stream of changes. See the growth that emerges, enjoy the results and the transformations, death card. Then let go and allow more change. Beautiful message on the bottom, Sag. Okay, big month, a big, big month for Sagittarius spirit. What is the final message you have for the... Oh, I barely shuffled. We've got two cards that came out. All right. Oh, oh, oh. And, oh, I think I screwed up the deck. I don't know. Because I've still got change on the bottom. I think it was this, but whatever. We'll just leave it. We have balance that came out and wonder. All right. Balance is a state of being, not a fine line to tread. Be aware of all possibilities, for balance is not available to you when you are only working with one side of things. Hold your composure, composure in the face of difficulties, and when you remember to breathe, balance is there for you. Okay. All right. Well, that's what I was kind of saying. It's going to be just a little bit. There's stuff to work through this month, for sure. Every month, right? But... Again, I think this is going to be pretty big for those of you that really resonates with this reading. Then we have wonder. For a wonderful day, spend a few minutes in awe. When you let go of trying to make things happen and just wonder, you allow the energy of all things to move and flow in perfect timing. Before you know it, you need not wonder. You know. Sag, what did I talk about? Freaking river. What did they give me about the river going with the current? Okay, it says perhaps you have been pushing the river or have felt bewildered. I knew there was something about this river. Now is the time to stop and admire the wonderful view from wherever you are, and then you will be able to move on. Okay, so there it is, Sag. They're asking you, they're suggesting, they're guiding you to just don't push against the current. Allow it to take you where it needs to. It's going to work out for you. You're going to find soft land to get back on. And that's when everything's going to be changed. It's going to change. There's a transformation. They're saying it to you. So it's a beautiful, beautiful message. Um, anticipation, right? I'm not sure if this was the card. I'm obviously going to be honest with you. 
Um, I wasn't paying attention when I shuffled. I was just kind of shocked that those two came up. But I'm going to read this because I feel drawn to this. Um, anticipation creates a feeling of excitement. Hold that feeling of excitement as you embark on your next course of actions. Let, um, unusual occurrences may not be anticipated, but don't waste any time worrying. Let go of expectations. They only take you out of the now moment. When you anticipate, you can enjoy the fun of the whole journey right here and now. So again, I you know um, felt really called to read that. So this is about just trying to ease up, lighten up. Thank you, Spirit. They just gave it to me. I've seen it in my mind's eye. Lighten up this month the best that you can. I know some of you may be going through really difficult, difficult times. But if you can lighten up a little bit, it won't be, it won't be so difficult. <laughs> Does that make sense? And I'm, I'm in general mode, so I'm not even sure what I just said here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what they're saying. It's almost like if you can believe the very, very best, that will be what will be coming towards you. I don't think I got that quite what they're what I'm getting from them, but nevertheless, it close enough. So with that, Saggy, we're going to close your reading off for April. Thank you so much for all of your support, your love. I love you. I love you. I love you. You mean so much to me. I pray that this month is a beautiful one for you. A beautiful, where I live, it's Northern Hemisphere, so we are in spring. Um, even if you're in fall, you know, wherever you may be in the world. You know, I really hope that this month is a game changer of positivity coming to you and just a lighter energy all the way around your life. So with that, Saji, I'm going to send you the big, big, big hugs. I missed you. So glad to be back. Mm, big kisses to you. And all my love. Um, very powerful month for you. All right, Saji, I will see you again. All right? I hope so. Anyways, thank you, my love, for being here. All right? Take wonderful care of yourself. And um, we'll see you later. All right, Saji? Bye.